In our Beef Today report, 200 head of cattle died last January on a Wisconsin farm after the herd was fed moldy sweet potatoes. Now, it's common practice for some producers to feed people food to their animals that may not be fit for human consumption. In this case, there was a toxin in the moldy batch. And that said, sweet potatoes can be safely fed to cattle. In this report from Mississippi State Extension, Amy Taylor says producers can lower their feed costs by adding the spuds to the diet. Cattle producers in Mississippi are gathering information about how to properly feed sweet potatoes as an additional feed stuff. There was a recent story in the news about some cattle that died from eating sweet potatoes. And of course in Mississippi, sweet potatoes is a very popular crop. We have a lot of cattle producers who consider feeding that as an alternative feed. Parrish says the death in the Wisconsin herd in 2011 was from eating moldy sweet potatoes. She assures that feeding them to cattle is indeed safe when done right. You want to make sure that you don't feed frozen sweet potatoes, number one, because of the choking risk. Also, what will help reduce the choking risk is if you can chop those, maybe run them through a silage chopper. If you can feed them in a low bunk, particularly maybe a trough that has a bar across the top of it or electric wire or something that won't allow those cattle to raise their head when they're eating, keep their necks and throats extended when they're eating, you're going to reduce the risk of choking. So that's one thing you can do. Another risk is if you feed, of course, the moldy sweet potatoes or sweet potatoes that are sprouted, you can have some toxins that are in those sprouted parts. Especially if you've had potatoes that have been exposed to sunlight and are sprouted, that'd be especially dangerous. Parrish explains sweet potatoes must not be fed to calves or young cattle. And because they do not contain all essential nutrients, they are not to be used as the only feed source. Parrish adds that sweet potatoes shouldn't be fed permanently because they cause tooth decay over time. But when fed correctly, cattle producers can lower feed costs and provide a healthy energy source for their cattle. From Mississippi State University, I'm Amy Taylor reporting. According to the latest USDA statistics, North Carolina leads the nation in sweet potato production. It's followed by California, Mississippi, and Louisiana. Now, you can get many more updates on the beef industry, including market and production information from our partners at beeftoday.com.